Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be going to show how to install NGROC in Kali Linux step by step. So in this tutorial, we are going to use the NGROC to expose your local host to the world. So let's start. NGROC allows you to expose a web server running on your local machine to the internet. Just tell NGROC what port your web server is listening on. If you don't know what port your web server is listening on, it's probably port 80, the default for HTTP. When you start NGROC, it will display a URL in your terminal with public URL of your tunnel. And other status and metrics information about connections made over your tunnel. So first of all you have to create a free NGROC account to use the NGROC servicers over the internet. Here I have created my account already. So this is the dashboard of your NGROC account. Here we have to download the NGROC binary. You can download it from here using a single click. But I will download it with the help of the wget command. So open the terminal. So first of all we have to update our Kali Linux. So to do that, we will use sudo apt update command for the update. And it will take some time depending on the speed of your internet connection. Then once your Kali Linux is updated we are going to run this command to download the ngrock. Now I download the binary file using the wget command. Now we have to extract the file using the tar command. So this is the command to extract the tgz file using the tar command. A tgz file is a tar archive file that has been compressed using new zip software. Now we have to connect the Kali Linux to our ngrock account. So you have to copy this command from here with auth token. And run it to add your auth token to the default ngrock.yml configuration file in your Kali Linux. And make sure the command will be started with a dot, and then a forward slash after that paste the copied command. This will grant you access to more features and longer session times. Running tunnels will be listed on the status page of the dashboard. Now using this command you can run the ngrock on Kali Linux. And make sure the command will be started with a dot, and then a forward slash ngrock http and port number 80. Here you can see the session status is online. That means we get a public web address for this Kali Linux machine. Open this link and here you will get your public address. Now open this URL, and this is your public link. If you will get this error, that means your local service is not started. You have to start the web server first. So for that, you have to start the Apache 2 web server using this command. sudo service apache2 starts. If the Apache 2 web server is not installed in your system, you can use this command to install the web server in your Kali Linux. So the command is sudo apt install apache2 y. Now after starting the web server you have to only refresh your ngrock public address in the browser. And you can see that your web server is available publicly with the ngrock link. Now I am resetting my auth token, so you can see how to fix the problem if you change your auth token. So you can change it in a simple way in your ngrock account. Go to auth token option. And here scroll it down and click on the reset auth token option. Now here check these boxes and click on reset auth token. Now you will get a new auth token. Copy the new auth token here. After resetting the auth token you are not able to connect your previous public link. Or if you try to run the ngrock you will get this error on your terminal. Now you have to open the auth token configuration file. So this is the command. I am using the nano text editor. And this is the path of the ngrock configuration file. The file name is ngrock.yml. Here remove the old auth token and paste the new one. 
Now save the file using Ctrl plus O and exit by pressing Ctrl plus X. Now after saving the auth token, run this command in the terminal with port number 80. Here you can see the session status is online. That means we get a public web address for this Kali Linux machine. Open this link and here you will get your new public address. Now open this URL, and this is your new public link. Here you have to carefully reset your auth token. Because when you change your reset your auth token, your ngrock link also changed. And if you did not update your new auth token in the ngrock configuration file, you will get this error. This is my old ngrock link. So make sure when you reset your auth token, update in your ngrock configuration file as well. So that is it. This is the way how to install and set up ngrock in Kali Linux. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.